Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about interior design tips and inspiration. We are now on our 16th video of the design style series. We're rounding out, we're almost to the end here, and today we are talking about Southwestern design. If you are new to this channel or this series, we talk about the background of each interior design style, some key elements to look out for to help you identify the style, three ways on how you can incorporate the style into your home, and lastly, we also talk about similar design styles in case you are interested in this design style but want to see what other options you might have. So let's go ahead and discuss the background of Southwestern interiors. The inspiration from this design style comes from the Southwest region of the United States. So really think about New Mexico and Arizona and more of those desert type states. You'll see a lot of inspiration come from those adobe type style houses where they have those really soft feminine lines. You'll see a lot of Spanish and indigenous textiles being used in this design style. You'll also see a lot of influence in the color palette from the desert. So you'll see a variety of those orangey tones, but then you'll also see color similar to this, like a cactus type of green color, they come into play as well. The design style typically feels very well traveled and inviting to whoever comes into these houses. And overall, it's a very different interior design style. Now let's jump into the key elements of this design style. Start off with architectural elements. You'll see a lot of those Adobe or Pueblo inspired architecture. You'll see a lot of like local materials being used like masonry, more of like a rounded masonry and stucco, a lot of materials that can uphold that desert heat and kind of block some of the wind. So they're really durable materials that are typically used in this style of home. You'll also see elements like exposed beams and some rustic elements being brought into these spaces as well. As far as furniture goes, there's two materials that I think are really signature to the style, which are leather and suede. Medium tone brown leather sofa would go extremely well in this design style and then pairing that with like some cowhide rugs or something suede. There's a lot of textural elements going on here with the furniture. As far as the color palette goes, you're going to look to the desert for a lot of these tones. So like I mentioned earlier, a lot of those rusty orange colors, you may see a little bit of pops of green. Terracotta is often used in these style of homes as well. So kind of having a really warm color palette, we'll usually see a white kind of backdrop for this design style. So you'll typically see white walls, but then the furniture and rugs and different things that you bring into this space won't be afraid to have those bigger bolder type colors used. As far as window treatments go, you will typically see something a little bit more lightweight because during the hot summer days when you're wanting airflow, you're not wanting the breeze to be blocked by any sort of window coverings. So typically you'll see something a little bit more lightweight. And to talk about the accessories of this design style, you'll see a lot of ceramics, a lot of handcrafted pieces, anything that feels more collected, more travel inspired, those all fit super well into this design style. And it won't be a lot of knickknacks all over, but they will have some history behind them or meaning behind them typically, but you won't see a lot of this in quantity. You'll see them kind of sparingly brought in more of a minimal approach to styling. Now to discuss three ways on how you can bring this design style into your home right now. My very first suggestion is to really nail down a color palette. There really is kind of a signature color palette here. So using those more brown tones, those orangey rust colors, the terracotta with the little bit of touches of green are really key to this design style and I think are super signature. So bringing in those colors after having a kind of a very neutral base of your home and a foundation is going to do wonders into kicking off this design style into your home. My second suggestion is to start collecting items. This style is not really something that you would just hop over to Target and be able to find a bunch of things that go really well into this design style. You're gonna want to go around to more local places. You're gonna want to find things while you travel. Be on the lookout for those things that are handcrafted, that are ceramics, that 
definitely are not in the perfect out of the box condition. This is going to really bring in the character of this design style. I know here in Utah, it's really quite easy to find locally made things by indigenous people typically, especially if I travel to some of the areas like Moab or Southern Utah, where there's a little bit more desert inspiration into the landscapes. And the third thing that I want to suggest is to bring in a lot of texture. So like we mentioned with the leather and suede, those materials have a lot of texture into it, but don't be afraid to go outside of that box and see what other materials you can bring in that have a tactileness to them or have some sort of really inviting texture. The layers of this design style with texture go really nicely together and really hone in on that style. There is an interior design firm that is based in Arizona that I really love called The Lifestyle Co. They actually have a YouTube channel if you are curious in checking them out. They don't necessarily follow the color palette of this design style, but they do incorporate a lot of texture and they talk about their style being organic desert living. So there's definitely a lot of overlap here in design styles. If you want to check them out, they would be a great resource. which leads us into similar styles to Southwestern design. So the first one that I want to suggest is boho interiors. I think there's a playfulness that these design styles share. There's also kind of a little bit more traveled and collected feeling, a lot of fun color that happens. So that would definitely be a suggestion of mine. And the second design style that I would suggest is what we put out last week, which is Mediterranean style. You might see a lot of overlap between these two styles, a lot of organic materials and textiles, but you'll also see that they both use terracotta and get a lot of inspiration from nature and their surroundings. So you may also want to check out that design style as well. All right, that is everything that I have for today's video. I hope that you were able to take something new away from this. Thank you so much for watching and join us next week when we talk about rustic interiors. Bye.